to another day on Cornwall Pocket Farm. Um, another sunny day, so it's lovely, but it's quite, quite a bit chillier now. Um, and I was noticing this morning that the asparagus has really died off. Um, it's all gone brown. So I need to clear that. Um, and then also there are some brassicas that are sort of leaning right forward and they're getting a bit rocked in the wind. So I need to stake those. And also the, um, the net, the big net on bed two, uh, that can probably come down now. It's been there a while and I think um, the things in there are probably big enough to hold their own now. So um, I hope I'm going to take those down. Um, but as usual, I probably won't do any of those things and I'll do something completely different. But <laughs> we will see when we get out there. Maggie's ready. Are you ready, Maggie? Yes, she's got her stick. So she's ready to uh, commence being a pain <laughs> while I'm trying to do some gardening. So yeah, I'll see you back there. You're coming round. Oh, and we've got a stick. Where are we going now? Excuse me. More stick. Thank you. Okay. Get it. Also have some uh, cleats that we've put on the um, on the fence to hold the asparagus up. So hopefully I could use those to hold the brassicas up. And obviously I don't want to put a stake through my water mains. No, not a good idea. So rethinking the stakes.
downside of living on a public highway. The rubbish sometimes blows through. So take the bus. Just to say the, the railing that you're watching me take out, the black sort of little fence that we used, um, that is, um, we actually got that from the SPCA charity shop for when we had our, uh, when Maggie first came when she was a little puppy, it's sort of a puppy pen. Um, it took her about oh, three hours to figure out how to get around over it and through it, so that was no good. Uh, but it has come in very useful as a um, asparagus support. It just holds everything back because the asparagus can sort of fall all over the place. And obviously having such a little garden, um, we need to make the most of like every inch. So I try and keep all the asparagus behind the fence. Um, and it, it works a treat. And as you can see, because it's in sections, it actually comes out quite easily at the end of the season when the, all the ferns have got all mad and... <laughs> And huge, uh, you can take it out in pieces, which is great. So, a few dollars really well spent, not for its original purpose, but. stems that um, still seem to have some life in them. The tops sort of round off, but the stalks aren't quite completely dry. So I'm just going to leave those there until they dry, die off. It'll only be a week or so, so, and then I'll trim them back there. And then all the, um, the asparagus trimmings, I basically just chop up and leave where it is to mulch the ground. And then I'll probably put a bit of compost on. But anyway, covered in asparagus. It's quite a, a messy job. <laughs> but anyway, it's done now, so that's good. I should tell you about our new find. Well, I say our new find. Look at that table. Um, not to be outdone by my great found of wood on the side of the road. The husband, of course, comes back the other day and says, oh, there's a table round the corner. <laughs> so we went round and hauled it back uh, on foot. It's quite heavy. It's, um, it's a reproduction. Um, it's not but it's solid wood and somebody's obviously painted it um oh sorry that was probably bright go ahead in your eye somebody's obviously painted it this sort of um gloss black not not brilliantly well done it's a bit uh, shiny for my liking but um great table so 
being painted it can sit outside quite happily one would think I'm either thinking that we will put it outside the French doors um, in the courtyard as a sort of an eating table I was going to make one but um, that might fit the bill we've yet to get it down there because we just brought it in through these these gates we have double gates here because the council when we did the renovation the council said we have to have one car accommodation on our property even though we don't have a car so we put those gates in and it only ever gets used really for when we haul things in like like this which is great so I don't know if it's going to fit in the courtyard but we might try it there but it's working brilliantly as a nice potting bench for me at the moment because usually I sort of crouch down on the concrete here and it's a little uncomfortable but now I've got a lovely um standing desk so it's very very pleasant um so we'll see it'll either get stay stay up here or go down in the courtyard but either way i will paint it something a little softer maybe a sage green or 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 the very least just sand it down a bit so it's not quite as shiny because it's it's very very shiny <laughs> it's quite shiny and the rest of our house really isn't that shiny as you probably spotted um yeah anyway so uh, yes, great find. So very excited about that. So we're just um, making some compost sieves at the moment. Great fun. Things to do on a Saturday morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I've got daughter number two here, ably helping me, but she's staying on camera when she's not, while well, she's not needed. <laughs> okay, so um, we're making a couple of different sorts. Um, I've made this one. We've made this one out of uh, the old, some of the old decking timber that I found on the side of the road, uh, and a little bit of uh, this mesh hardware cloth that um, we had left over from the chicken coop. So I won't go into how to make it. There's millions of YouTube videos. Basically, you just cut it to size and bang some nails in. It's really simple. So this one is a big one that we made. We've made for to go over the wheelbarrow for larger quantities of compost, and. Now I'm making a small one with a finer mesh. We've just used some of that mesh and then sort of offset another piece to make the hole smaller. So I've got a smaller one uh, that we're just putting together now, which is going to be to go over buckets and smaller things like that. Anyway, so we'll bring you along for the smaller one and you can check out my hammering skills, which are <laughs> pretty rubbish. But anyway, you can... Uh, Watch us do our best. So, if you hold the best hold there. That's right, just put your hand on there for me. That's lovely. Not too close, I'm going to have to use a drill. I'm just going to put one nail in to start with. Yep. So, ahead of us. Mosquito? It's nothing. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes, I'm going to allow to use. wood out of the house is some very old remove and um, it's quite brittle so this old decking timber we just bash the nails in but um, on this one we have to drill first otherwise it just all goes like that. Basically will happen of course because we're on video. First nail in. Get off! 
show you the sieve in action because it works a treat really please compost in the sieve sort it out in the bucket these are my potatoes that um, just need uh, hilling up I grow all my potatoes in buckets because I just don't have the ground to actually grow them anywhere else and they do well in buckets in the winter here. Exciting news. Looky here. I think my transatlantic melon challenge has started. Certainly one seed seems to have, I don't know, is that a root? Yeah, probably a root I think. Well, some sort of sprout. How exciting. Can't see action on any of the others, but we have one. Yay! <laughs> 